Hello folks and welcome back to Fallout 4. And I'm out here at Eagle's Cove Tannery on Far Harbor and I was just waiting till dark here. Um, I sent Nick back to uh, the Dalton Farm for the time being. And I'm gonna go out and check out Eden Meadows Cinema. And I'm not sure what after that. That was as far as I thought forward. I might check out some of these other locations over here. But uh, yeah, I wanted it to be nighttime when I came out to explore this particular place. And yeah, we're pretty close, so I'm gonna try and sneak up because there's something I have heard about, but I want to try myself. <clears throat> Not sure how successful I'm gonna be at sneaking, but I'm gonna give it a try. So this is my first episode of Fallout 4 I've recorded at my new house. Uh, I've said this on a few other videos, but where I'm at, I'm kind of close to a road, so if you hear some cars in the background, I apologize. I'm working on getting some soundproofing going, but I'm still waiting on a few things. It's, uh... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and yeah, my cough is still here. Doesn't seem to be going. It's 10.30 at night, so hopefully the road will be a little more quiet right now. Well, what I want to try here is I want to try sneaking up to the control booth. <coughs> oh, boy. Every time I go to record, it's like, there goes my voice. So, there's a bunch of ghouls out here. And they tend to follow the screen that is on. And there's something I heard about that I want to try. They, uh, they're congregating out there right now. You can see them. But apparently, I never knew about this before. Apparently there's a button where I can switch screens. And they will follow it, apparently, which I thought sounded amusing, so I want to see if that's going to work. If I can find it... I'm not sure how much sneak skill I got. Probably not much, because stealth isn't really my style. I think it's up here? Let's see if this actually works. I found out what was weighing me down so much. I had like 10,000 mods on me. Oh. So yeah, okay. Now this, the cinema out here is on. They're still standing there. I'm not sure how well you can see that. I'm curious to see if they'll move. Yeah, they're moving. They're probably going to see me. They are moving. They're going over to the other cinema to watch. I'm just going to hold real still. And hope they don't see me for a minute. I, I guess they're just attracted to the light. Look at them. Okay, there's something I want to do here. I'm in free camera. Look at them go. <clears throat> they are flocking on over. Oh, wow, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh, well, my goodness. I'm almost I'm going to feel bad for killing them now. They just want to watch a movie. I'm going to use this opportunity to get a good picture. It's just as soon as the screen's right. See if we can get a good uh, angle here. It's 
like the same few frames over and over. I wonder if you can change movies. I don't... I don't know if you can or not. <laughs> a bunch of ghouls watching a, a horror flick. I'm gonna feel- I don't want to kill them now. They should be left to uh, enjoy their movie. Yeah, you know what? Feeling generous tonight. <laughs> I'm surprised that's actually a thing. I mean, that that's cool. Kind of sad, but cool. Now, I can see how you could use that to, like, uh... <clears throat> you know, lay down some mines or something, and then... Lure them over. Kill them all. I'm just gonna leave them be, honestly. Let's head over towards Horizon Flight 1207. Uh, as soon as I get away from the cinema, I'm going to uh, wait until daytime also. I just wanted to see this at night because I know it would be a uh, better looking or maybe I won't. I don't I don't actually do a whole lot at night anymore. I just there seems to be this phenomenon with YouTube. I mean maybe it's because people don't put on dark mode or they don't watch stuff in full screen. Or they watch stuff in a bright room, but people tend to I don't know, it seems like they don't like anything that's dark. So which is why I kind of avoid nighttime stuff. I learned that with Arma videos. But I'm gonna run around in the dark for the moment. I like playing games when it's dark. I get to do a lot of nighttime stuff. One of my favorite games to go around and do stuff in the dark on is, well, any stalker game. Oh, I figured that was gonna happen. All these lure weeds around. Yeah, the, uh, the mods I had on me, I don't think I dropped the mods I was carrying the entire time. This entire playthrough. Which is somewhere around 50 hours so far. At least. Maybe more. <clears throat> and I, I guess I forgot that they, they weigh you down. Little by little. So I finally dropped all those. I was wondering why I was constantly almost full. What is this a little... What is this? Uh, just a... Just a random stop, huh? I wonder if the flight out here has the, uh... The smuggling container like the ones back in the Commonwealth have or not. There she is. I came across, uh, not long ago, a really awesome location in Fallout 76 out in the mire where there was a, one of these aircraft that had somehow been lifted up into the trees by a bunch of vines or flora that's out there. It was a really cool location. I haven't posted the video of it yet, but I think it's, the episode's called Swamp Things. So, it, yeah, it was a really cool location. That is a precarious place to crash. Hmm. 
the Jets are so cool. The older Fallout games, I mean, they had some aircraft, but they didn't have these giant commercial jetliners like we have here. One of these jets has a mutant, I think it is, a friendly one. I feel like keeps dogs or something. I, I don't remember actually. I don't think it's this one. Maybe, maybe it is, actually. Oh, he's not home, so... It, out, yeah, he is here. This doesn't have to get messy. Erickson. Hey, buddy. I forget this what guy's story. Up there in my camp? Uh, stay Easy calm. There, big fella. I was just looking around. Oh, I'm plenty calm, considering you invaded my home. Look, don't walk away and make me reset I don't the conversation. Really want any trouble. I broke off from the group I came here with a long time ago. I hate it when they do that. Just stand still and talk. Now the conversation's all fucked. Thanks, Bethesda. Now I'm gonna have to reload because I want to hear what the deal is with Erickson. I forget. I hate that. It's part of the problem with the... It's always been a problem with the... Fallout games. The 3D Fallout games. Alright, Erickson. What were you doing up there in my camp? Easy there, big fella. I was just looking around. Don't walk off oh, again. Plenty calm, considering you invaded my home. Look, I don't really want any trouble. I broke off from the group I came here with a long time ago. I just started seeing things differently when we came to the island. I couldn't stand how the other super mutants act to humans. I keep to myself up here and train my dogs. Do a bit of the train with people too. At least those that don't open fire on me. Don't see any reason we can't do the same. Come on up if you'd like. Okay. So are you going to talk to me again? What's with the walking away in the middle of a conversation thing? I find that really annoying. You going to talk to me? No? Okay. Apparently he doesn't care if I use this terminal. I don't know why that bugged out. Whatever. Really. Having... Taking. I'm not sure if he's gonna get pissed off at me doing this, but it wasn't. <coughs> Excuse me. It wasn't red, so I don't think he will. You got a black box? Uh, I can't take anything. rest of your kind seems to started seeing things more clearly when we came here who knows maybe it's the fog i just don't see what the point of us all killing each other is did you train these dogs yeah as guard dogs not all can be trained though most are used to being kicked or shot at i can only manage a few at a time though so unless I find a new home for one of them, I can't really take on any more. I'll buy a dog. Out here by yourself. My kind are mostly stupid brutes. We used to trade with a couple people in Far Harbor, but they don't leave the settlement much these days. The rest of the people on the island are worse. Got any tips about the island? Hmm. There's a lighthouse on the south end of the island. Big family of trappers. Let's see if we can buy a dog. I was interested in buying one of your guard dogs. Which one would you like? 
Uh, I gotta go with Duke. I was interested in the dog. Where did you want it to guard? Oh, right. You can send him to... Right. Let's send one back to, uh... Send one back to Sanctuary. Sanctuary needs a puppy dog. Another puppy dog. To be friends with, uh, dog meat. Sounds good. You take care. I won't buy all your dogs. I'll let you keep the other ones here. But Duke's going back to Sanctuary. Alright, well, I guess I can't take anything from here. Or I shouldn't. So let's head over towards Kitteridge Pass. If I'm correct, I think Kitteridge Pass connects to Pinecrest Cavern, I think. Uh, let's level up and then we'll go see. Okay, all my gun ones, those ones are done. Never get locked out of a terminal, not really necessary. Mr. Sandman would be good. Totally ended. That's a useful one. Inspirational is a good one. Yeah, let's get robotics expert art. Eh. Uh, a lot of these I can't have yet. I need to rec up my strength, huh? Hmm. Yeah, let's get action boy. That's always a good one. <clears throat> okay. Move on out of here. I was hoping I was going to find a black box or something, but uh, it just doesn't seem to be something you generally come across, unfortunately. Use the old radium rifle for a little while. I can't tell if it's getting light or getting dark. I think it's getting light. What time is it? Oh yeah, it's almost 4 a.m. What the hell was that? No trappers? Really? Hey, that's the way in. I guess we go in. Looks promising, right? And yeah, there's another problem. You probably heard that. Train passing my house. They're not as frequent as the road noise, but they do uh, pass at all hours of the day. Holy massacre, Batman. Oh. Not yet. Well, I guess the trapper's lost. I bet you I have so many drugs that I should sell at this point. I haven't really been purchasing. I mean, I do buy occasional. Uh, unique items a lot of Or shipments of supplies, but otherwise I haven't been needing money a terrible amount lately. I have been stockpiling things to sell for quite a while. Most of which is still in a box or two in Sanctuary. dead. Okay. The slow time thing is pretty cool. Gotta say. What? Okay. For a minute there I thought they were gonna let me go down under water. Oh. I don't think I have that hat. 
I need that hat. I love the lobster trap helmet. In fact, I gotta wear it. Keep forgetting to grab mine. I couldn't remember where I dropped it. It's not even very good, but I mean, come on. It's a freaking lobster trap. How cool is that? Let me see here. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> With the coastal armor. Alright. Oh my. Oh. We'll take legendary stuff. Not all of it, but some of it. My question is, how are these guys inside the walls and stuff? How does that even happen? How are they... Do they do that before they get irradiated and die, or do they just burrow in nice. there after? Mines and grenades. It's kind of like uh, Fallout 3 in the sense that I... Well, I knew Vegas. That I saved them to sell. And missiles. I guess that was it. Uh, I wonder where this leads out, actually. I don't remember. Ah, daytime. Huh. Okay. Well, let's go check out Pinecrest Cavern since we're out here. Just random place that you probably wouldn't notice. Unless you're just uh, stumbled upon it. Since it's not marked. Oh, great. I got the hiccups. That's nice. Just what I needed. Oh, here's an unmarked spot, I think. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that's the nucleus, but this is not... That's further away. What is this? I was gonna say... Could have sworn I saw someone lurking. <laughs> it's a lobster trap helmet. I love it. shack before I head over that way. Alright. Eh, not too much. Huh. Knock, knock. Knock. Dead child of Adam. Hmm. Well, sorry. I'm taking your clothes. I like to hoard things like that. Ah, more service rifles. Tend to find them quite a lot these days. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Nope. Wait a minute. Did I already come down here? I don't think so. Gauss rifle ammo. It's really weird how the uh and the 9x39 ammo for the and Torres and the uh, Val spawn, but the weapons don't spawn anywhere. I can't remember if you craft them or if you find them somewhere. I think the one I have I f bought? I think maybe merchants have them? I don't remember. I had it quite a long time ago. I still have it somewhere, I'm sure. I tend to not throw away weapons and armor on the Fallout games. Oh. Oh, we got a, uh, some stuff over here. Love me some unmarked locations. Ooh. Oh, 
it's a wolf. Never mind. Just a wolf, even if it's a legendary glowing one. Gray Wolf, you from Chicago? I know, that probably didn't make sense when I just said. <laughs> After, uh, back in the day, I think before the Prohibition Age or during the Prohibition Age, after Chicago burned down, back in the day, early 1920s, 1900s, there was a group of shifty shifty politicians in Chicago that called themselves the Grey Wolves or were called the Grey Wolves or something like that. Never mind. Never mind. Just a tangent. <clears throat> Alright, let's go up here. Speaking of Chicago, I know I've said this before, but I would love it if they would make a Fallout game go back to the Fallout Tactics setting. In the Midwest. Chicago, I mean, they, used, they had Kansas, they had Missouri, they had Illinois, they had a whole bunch of places. I know you can't really make a map that big. I mean, you probably could. But even just anywhere in the Midwest would be interesting to me. Or back to the West Coast, all the way to the coast. We don't need another washed out desert location. One's enough for recent decades. Now Maine, this place, that was a cool choice. I wouldn't be adverse to them setting one uh, in Alaska either. I think that would be pretty fucking awesome. I think that's one reason I love the setting of 76 so much. Is that they didn't choose, you know, put it in New York or some major city. They put it in West Virginia. You know? Not to, like, say West Virginia is unimportant or something, but it's like... It's less of a... I guess I would call it a Hollywood kind of location. It wasn't Los Angeles. Even though that would be cool. It wasn't Vegas. It wasn't DC. It wasn't New York. It was in West Virginia. How about we get a fallout set in, uh... Delaware, or Rhode Island, or... Vermont. Actually, there is a fallout mod that brings you to Vermont. Which is the Rockwell Pursuit for... Fallout yes. New Vegas. Somewhere, you know, just somewhere you don't hear about all the time. One of the Dakotas, or... Yeah, you get my point. Indiana something I remember for a long time they were teasing about putting a fallout or there was all sorts of rumors about them setting fallout in New Orleans I think that would be an alright place I think creepy post-apocalyptic swamps are a good idea <clears throat> but again that's another like widely known city so I don't know I remember for a while I was making a uh, New Vegas mod that was set in and around Idaho. Well, Boise, Idaho. <clears throat> Never did get to finish it, but I got a significant portion of it made. It was just the world space, though. I'm not that good at modding. I just liked making world spaces. Okay, so where's the cavern? Down here, okay. In we go. Oh man, if I had a nickel for every time I spent two minutes before I clipped back in, clearing my voice. <clears throat> really gotta stop smoking. <coughs> 
really got to. to do a bloody skeleton. That's gross. I don't think I'm going to hit him from here. I see you've been playing with your food. Did your mother teach you any manners? go back up here. I know there's still another one. I'm just ignoring him because he's hiding from me like a pussy. Sweet. <clears throat> Take all. You want to come out and fight now or going to hide a bit more? Okay, let's go back. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I love the fact that you can loot just the head or just a chunk, you know? Hmm, random stuff. Ah, the old can on the fire cooking method. Can't say I haven't done that. When getting a bowl is just too much to ask for. Okay, now I'm a little turned around here. Where? Okay, that's where I came from. I think. Actually, I don't think this cave goes through. Another carbine. Huh. Okay. Creepy. I think that's it for in here. What? Why are skeletons in the wall? Is this the post war phenomenon? I'm gonna guess so. Oh, there's lots of them. Yeah, I'm just trappers playing with their food. They're in the ground too. They're everywhere. Let's get out of here. I think we've seen everything we were going to see. This uh, this one doesn't go through, so back out we go. Just looking at random places I haven't been yet. I still need to check out Cranberry Island and Huntress Island. I think that'll probably comprise the whole episode. I believe there's a bit of a scavenger hunt to be done with notes down here. Don't remember Huntress Island. Vim Factory is going to take a while to go through. The Harbor Grand, uh, the main story quest will bring us there, so we'll explore that when we get that. These places are associated with quests from the Nucleus. I don't remember about Zephyr Ridge. Rayburn Point is not. I guess we're kind of running out of random locations to see. So while we're playing, let's go to Zephyr Ridge and Rayburn Point. Uh, and check those out. Looks like some of these camps have respawned enemies apparently. Uh, I haven't been over to Echo Lake Lumber in a while. Hopefully they're not uh, hitting me. Trying to decide where to fast travel to. I don't want to go here yet because, or that. Let's just go to Echo Lake. I don't think I've stopped in there since uh, the settlers moved in. In fact, I haven't given them the things they need yet, so I hope their happiness isn't falling. I haven't gotten a notification yet saying that they're pissed. So I'm assuming everything's okay. I've got to fix that place up. Settlements are just 
I gotta be in the right mood to do settlements. Like, I've done them so many times that it's kind of... Sometimes I'll feel inspired to create something really cool at a settlement, but most of the time it still feels like a chore. Since the, uh, the charm is mostly gone. I have finished a few uh, back in the Commonwealth there. I'm almost ready. I know I haven't shown a settlement in a while. Uh, I gave up on doing the, the basic builds or full builds recording. I uh, just, yeah, I, I work on them here and there and uh, I'm going to bring you guys on a tour of some of them once they're totally done. I mean, like everything necessary built, all the decorations personalized just the way I like kind of thing. There's a few that like Sanctuary and um, the uh, co-op Sunshine Tidings. And one other are almost done. I think while we're here, I ought to check. Make sure they're not about to freak out. I need to fix the walls. I have a mod on that uh, makes it so that this settlement, uh, you can build all the way out through here and all the way around that house. And as you can see, maybe, there's a bridge leading out to... He's, no, they're not on the map. There's a little island out here, like a couple that I can build on. So it expands it a lot. The only weird thing that happened is it got rid of some of the walls, but one of the mods I have for construction has a building kit that uh, includes the walls of this building so I can fix it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Please tell me. Oh, wow. They are not happy. Happiness 5. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take... I'm, I'll, I'll cut here. I'm gonna give them some stuff. This is pretty critical. I've been putting this off too long. Uh, let me just show you what I meant here. As you can see, even though it's uh, it shows this is the boundary, I can still go out here and build out there. I'm just gonna do this real quick, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, the people are good. They're good to go. Gave them all they're going to need for the moment. They better be grateful. I'm glad I got that in time or we would have had one of those annoying situations on our hands where we got to go do a task for him so that they'll come back under our whatever. Oh, brain fart. Before they'll come back into the fold of uh, being allied. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to fight Shipbreaker right now. I want to go get old Longfellow for that. What the hell's Shipbreaker doing right here? He's not supposed to be here. <laughs> One thing that, that I find funny is how people compl a lot of people complained about how much the settlements were shitty and a chore and stuff on Fallout 4 and people but straight up avoid doing them at all. And now on Fallout 76, people are complaining that the camp is not elaborate enough. <laughs> it's like elections. It's like people have fucking ADD. Can't make up their mind. Oh, well, you know. First, we're not happy all the way this way. Now we're not happy all the way the other way. Don't mind me. I'm a bit. I can be a bit cranky and opinionated about things with Fallout. Enraging pool cue. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's kind of like the, the whole online Fallout thing. For a long time, before 76 was ever announced, people were always going off about how much they wished there was an online Fallout. Then we got one and they're like, eh. I mean, uh, there's a lot of valid complaints about 76, but that's not the point. The point was that before it was even out, people were literally complaining that they made a Fallout online game, even though people, Fallout fans, have been asking for it. <sighs> My rant concludes. Uh, guess that was all that was here, huh? Just some trappers. Ooh, he's a tough one. Anything good on you? There's another one. 
Damn it, where'd he go? There it is. Hey, buddy. Got him. Okay, we've got that. Let's head out to Rayburn Point. And that'll be basically it for miscellaneous episodes um, or miscellaneous areas. The next time I'll either be checking out the Vim Factory or I'll be going, I'll probably check out the Vim Factory. I'm not sure. That's a really cool spot with some interesting lore to it. Either that or I'll go to the Nucleus and start firing up the rest of the main story. Not sure. Kind of need to. But I really want to go to Vim. Plus, it's the only other place to get the other uh, unique T-51 Vim power armor out here. I can't remember if Rayburn Point is uh, another location that the main quest brings you, or if it's just a trapper settlement. Either way, pick it up while we're out and about here. Going back a bit to the topic of Fallout stuff and what people have wanted in the past and stuff, uh, I have picked up a few antiquities of Fallout that I really want to do videos on. One of them being the demo for Fallout 1. Whoa! What the hell? Which is, uh, brings you a town called Scrap Heap, which I once made a mod for New Vegas that recreated that. I think someone else did that too. And I also have the Van Buren, which was the originally going to be Fallout 3. I have the tech demo of that. And a few other extra things that came with that, including the trailer and a, a few other things. Really cool stuff that I found on the, the awesome No Mutants Allowed site. I don't know why I haven't been joined that site yet. I've been using it since... I've been using it for like 15 years or more. Or however long it's been around. A long ass time. But uh, yeah, I want to do some videos on those things. And I also... I, I did the first mission of the Fallout Tactics demo. That gives you the Dirt Haven mission. And I still haven't done the second mission of it. In fact, Fallout Tactics... Other than Fallout Shelter is the only Fallout game I've never finished. I've got plans. I mean, I want to go back through Fallout 1 and 2. Actually finish 2 this time for YouTube. The first one I did that years ago, I never quite finished. And I, never, I only got like a third of the way through Tactics before I got fucked over. The game is hard, man. <laughs> I have trouble with Tactics. But I love it. It's just really hard. Uh, I want to go through that one again sometime and I really need to get back to recording Fallout Brotherhood of Steel I was hoping to get it working with my capture card with the PS2 uh, but it, it just I can't get it to work yet I'm still new to console recording and doing the pre HDMI systems I just don't have the components I need to make it work so I'm gonna have to go back to using the uh, PC emulator for it I was... I can't remember which episode I left off on that. It was, uh... I wasn't terribly far in, but I didn't plan on stopping. I just kind of had too much going on at once and stopped, uh... And was, uh... Concentrating on other things for a bit. So we'll get it back to that. And I've also got Fallout New California. I need to get into sometime. I remember playing that years and years and years ago when it was Project Brazil and it was barely... It was like a really early on version. I was thinking maybe I ought to finish my new Vegas adventures before I do that in case it's not compliant with or compatible with the mod set I have for New Vegas. 
But I also need to figure out if it's possible to make a second install an installation directory of New Vegas. Just in case it does break. So that I can try it. Because I really want to play it. I'm just worried. I'm so deep into my New Vegas playthrough that I don't want to fuck it up. Okay, enough for anything about Fallout. I'm just enthusiastic as all. Let's finish checking out this place. Got it. And, uh... Yeah, I still got an absurd amount of things left to do on this game, which... I knew when I was starting the Fallout games. For YouTube again that it was going to be a long probably multi-year sort of thing and that was totally down for that and I still am so I'm not necessarily in a hurry if I was in a hurry I'd be posting nothing but fallout but I'm not taking my time But honestly, I mean, there's probably not a terrible amount of uh, Far Harbor episodes left. We're getting there. I mean, I've still got a decent amount to do, but we've already done a lot. I've been trying to knock off a lot of the miscellaneous stuff. Some houses over there. We'll check out. Yeah, the ending I'm going for in this is going to require me to do a lot of stuff for... The Children of Adam, which is part of the reason I told Valentine to, uh... I left him out at Dalton Farm. Because he doesn't get the root, the fact that you're putting up a ruse to infiltrate the Children of Adam. He, like, gets pissed at a lot of the choices you have to make to get the, uh, ending I want for Fort Harbor. So I just... I'll leave him alone when I do, uh... I, le I mean, I leave him behind when I do, uh, Children of Adam stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh, what did I just pick up? Oops. Huh. Zeke's safe. Zeke's safe? What? Huh. Oh, I think that's it for Rayburn Point. Okay, well, I guess we'll call this one here, and, um, so either next time we'll either be going to the Vim Factory or we'll be finally going over to the Nucleus. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet, but, uh, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later, so take it easy.